So, um, Thames Valley Police, you have issued um, uh, advice, you know, uh, renewing advice, really, I guess, regarding the um, cold weather that we're currently having at the moment. Um, what exactly are you trying to get across to people? Well, basically, if people are considering taking a journey today, just consider whether it is absolutely necessary to do so. Obviously, if it isn't, then, then don't travel. Wait till the, the, the situation on the roads and the transport infrastructure improves. Take a journey another day. Has this been a particular problem with people going out? Um, it's always a problem with people perhaps going out on a journey um, that's either ill-advised or they've not prepared for. Clearly, if somebody does have to travel, and I'm sure there are people whose journeys are essential, then they must make sure that they've checked the route, they've checked the weather conditions, they've made sure their vehicle's um, fueled and, and safe for the journey, and take a few precautions, pack some warm clothing, put a blanket and some food and drink in the car, Make sure you've got your mobile phone and the charger there so that if something does happen, you can tell people where you are and what's happening. Um, you know, simple, basic, common sense ideas before you set out on such a journey in such conditions, really. I mean, there are, you know, a few pitfalls that can, uh, you know, you can fall into, can't you, if, if you don't prepare for a journey, particularly in conditions like we're currently experiencing at the moment. Yeah, clearly. I mean, you know, it, it is conceivable that people will become stuck in their vehicle and if they don't have appropriate clothing then you know it's going to be a pretty unpleasant um, uh, situation for them to be in equally if you know they do have to uh, leave their vehicle for some reason then it may be that we will have to recover the vehicle out of the road so that we can get gritters and snow plows through etc um, and that is going to be a cost um, burden on that individual motorist you know that is the way it works. OK, and that's because we have to pay to actually have it moved. Exactly. You know, we've, if, if we have to uh, recover a vehicle out of the road that's been left there and, and is preventing other motorists from getting through, then clearly it's, it's appropriate that we remove it and, and get the traffic flowing again. Um, and uh, the cost will obviously have to be borne you know, by the individual concerned. How um, busy a time has it been for Thames Valley Police over the last um, 12 or so hours? Clearly it's been busier. The, the, there have been uh, other calls coming in as a result of the weather on top of the usual policing um, sort of day-to-day -day, uh, functions that we undertake. Um, but we've been dealing with those uh, in with ordinary business as usual. We've got uh, contingency plans for such events and we're working closely with our partners in, police, in the fire, uh, ambulance and the local county councils and the highways agencies.